Hello little fillies and unicorns of the land. Welcome to Unicorn Universe. Today we are going to do an interesting science experiment with things that are readily available in the kitchen. Before we get into the experiment, let us learn a few facts. What are acids? You may have heard the term acid before and you have likely heard something referring to as acidic. And while you may have a general idea of what these terms mean, it's helpful to understand what these terms mean on a scientific level. Think of beverages like lemonade or orange juice. Think of the delicious tangy taste you get when you sip either of these beverages. That tang is the direct result of these beverages acidic nature. The reason that these beverages and many other substances are naturally acidic is because they contain lots of hydrogen ions. An ion is a special type of atom or molecule that has an electric charge. A hydrogen ion then is one that has a tiny electric charge. Every substance in the universe is made up of hundreds and thousands of tiny atoms, molecules and ions. When a large number of those are hydrogen ions, the substance is acidic. In food, that means it will have a sour or tangy taste. Lots of other things than food can be acidic as well though. What is a base? Base substances contain lots of hydroxide ions. These are a different type of molecule with a small electric charge. In foods, this means they will taste more bitter. Plenty of things other than food can be basic however. One everyday example of a base substance is baking soda, commonly used to bake cakes, cookies and other sweet treats. If you try to taste this, you'll see that it's very bitter. If you rub it between your fingers, you'll find it has a strange soapy feeling. This is all because baking soda has a base nature. We use an indicator to compare acids and bases. An indicator is a special type of substance that tells us whether an item in question is more acidic or basic. Believe it or not, there are a few natural occurring indicators that we can use to determine the pH of a substance. Litmus and turmeric are great examples of natural indicators. Now, let's get started with the experiment. Take three cups. Let us add lemon juice to the first cup. Add some turmeric powder in the second cup. Add some disinfectant liquid to the third cup. Let's add some water to all three cups and stir them. Now, take a few drops of turmeric water from the second cup in a syringe or dropper and add to the first cup. Does it change color? No. Let's add a few drops of turmeric water to the cup with the disinfectant. Wow! Can you see the change in color? It is turning to a reddish orange color. Now let's see what happens when we add the lemon juice to the colored disinfectant.
can you see the color disappearing this is because of neutralization We have a completely neutral solution now. Now let's try repeating this with a cup containing a spoon of baking soda and a little bit of water. Wow! Can you see the color change in this now? Let's try the experiment with a small amount of vinegar. Does the color change? No. But why? The pH of a solution is a measure of hydrogen ion concentration in a solution. On a scale from 0 to 14, lower pH solutions are strong acids. Higher pH solutions are bases. Now that we have seen about acids and bases, we know why this color changes sometimes and doesn't change sometimes. Vinegar is acidic in nature and so there was no color change when the indicator turmeric water is added. Baking soda and disinfectant are basic in nature and so change color when indicator turmeric water was added. Interesting, isn't it? Now, you try this experiment with ingredients around your household and let me know in the comment section below which ingredients change color during your experiment. Now, do you want to see some bloopers that happen during this experiment? If you like this video and you want more content like this, like, share and subscribe. Bye! Have a nice day everybody!